foibles. Foibles. The idea is to make it interesting. I'm trying to imagine that I'm the audience, and this vlog is made for guys like, and women, and everybody, like, who have sort of, who are connoisseurs of human nature, and just enjoy looking at people because people are fascinating. You don't have to be a celebrity or a star. You don't have to be anything fancy. It's just interesting. People are just interesting. And part of the interest is their foibles, their insecurities, their neurotic sides, their hang-ups, and also how they succeed, how they do well. It's not just about how you're a fuck-up. Or, sorry, it's not just how you, you, your sense of failure and your sense of agony, but it's also how you enjoy yourself, how you cheer up. That could be very useful. So, part of cheering up and doing a vlog is to give yourself permission to do it and don't be ashamed of admitting your foible. Lobodo's number one foible, which I don't really think is a foible, it's more a sociological fact that's common to many people over the age of 60 or who are retired early, or for whatever reason, is social social isolation. Now this doesn't mean Lobodo doesn't have Lobodo has a lot of friends. Well, a normal amount of friends. Lobodo is an introvert with a few very wonderful friends. How's that? See, I'm immediately always trying to paint to make myself look good. And that goes against the, the philosophy of revealing foibles. Always trying to butter yourself up a little bit, paint yourself in a rosy light, where it's more interesting if you have the courage to show yourself blemishes and all. So, Lobodo is an introvert, a, a social misfit. His, he doesn't know really how to go out and make friends so Lobodo spent his whole life as a loner and now the karma of a lifetime of being a loner is when you're retired you're a super loner and you can go up to okay that's a win all right uh funny thing is that Lobodo used to complain Lobodo used to complain when he was a kid that his father Stonehenge, the Reverend Stonehenge Stumps, would talk very slowly and there would be long pauses between what he had, his words when he spoke. Is this on? Yeah. Long, there would be long pauses when, lo, when Reverend Stonehenge talked and it was a real bore to listen to him. You could fall asleep between the beginning of the sentence and the end of the sentence and no and also he would repeat his stories. So every visit you would get the same handful of stories. Well, now Lobodo is over 60 and he's discovered that he does the same thing. It was pointed out to him by some young people that, oh, I've heard that story before. Or he's talking so slow they hurry to finish the sentence for you because they're impatient to get going. So that's just a sociological fact, I guess, with age, is that you talk slower because you've got all the time in the world. So that's enough for this little vlog. In Lobo Vlog, expose your foibles and be aware that you do talk slow and can be a bore. Maybe you do repeat the same stories over and over again, which is fine, I guess, but be aware of it. Okay, that's it. That's long enough for a Lobo vlog.